In today Python tutorials, we are going to create a login form using Python programming. In this tutorial, we are using tkint module to create an interactive login form using the Python programming. We already discussed about tkint. It is graphical related module that helps to produce interactive interfaces to the users. Before get into tutorials, please like this video, comment and subscribe our channel for more updates. Here we need to import the tkinter module and message box module. Tkinter module is used to create a graphical window and the message box is used to display the messages in the script. And then we need to declare the class and function and in the declaration of the class we need to mention the name of the class. After creating the class the we need to declare the function, using function we can do the major part of this program. In this script declaration of class and declaration of function these are the important in the program. After declaring the class and function we need to create the label for our login screen in the process of creating the login screen we need to create the labels. In the first label we are using this label for username and we need to mention the text font style and size of the label in here. In the second label, we are creating this for password and the same conditions need to be mentioned here. After that we need to create the entries. Entries are like a text boxes for the both labels in the entry boxes we are going to type our username and passwords so these are the important functions of entries I suggest you to use this alignment. This alignment produces the good login form. After finishing all the alignments we need to create a button, button is used for the submitting the all the details in the login form. Button is like an acknowledgement process after submitting all the details we need to click this button it will bring some pop up message on your screen. After that we need to declare the function called as login. In this function we need to write some conditions. Here we need to assign some predefined values to usernames and password. If username is corrected, will display login message otherwise it cannot show the login message. <laughs> 